Welcome to a video, not so much about coloring, but about sharpening. I've had uh, quite a few questions lately from you, um, because there were, there are questions about uh, the, the sharpeners that I use and I use these two and a third one, but I I don't know where it is, but it is similar to these. My sharpeners are very simple. Oh, that's a lot of... Uh, it's, it's a very sunny day, so I will do everything with my left hand, so there will be no uh, dark shadows. Um, so there's really nothing very exciting about these two sharpeners are very cheap. I believe this one was below two euros, so be below two dollars. And this one the same. Now the only thing you have to really uh, keep in mind is that the blades So the blades, they must be sharp and there are, you can buy these blades separately or sometimes there are extra blades um, with the sharpener. Ah, there's a cloud actually, that is a little bit better. Those very bright sunshine days are not very good for... Uh, recording but well so here I have a uh, pencil important is that the pencil fits correctly some pencils are bigger than others and you have to t make sure that the uh, diameter of your uh, of your pencil sharpener corresponds with your pencil. If the diameter is a little bit bigger than your pencil, here I have a smaller one, Karandash, that is really not that much of a problem. But when the opening is a little bit too small, you will start noticing problems with sharpening. Now how I sharpen, I do it like this. Let's pick this one. By the way, there are two different sizes in this sharpener. I can use both, but this one is a little bit too big, so I use the smaller one. I always sharpen upside down. And I think it is important that you do not put too much pressure on your pencil and not bend, trying to bend it up or down, but just let it follow the shape, the inside shape of your sharpener and then gently start turning the pencil. The blade on this sh sharpener is will need to be uh, replaced soon i can feel that but this is what it looks like right now let's see if my phone is not going to to show you i try to uh, <laughs> come on you can do it no, it's not doing it anyway. So this is a sharp pencil. Let's try another one, the other one. This, I think I already made a video about this particular one. The, the brand is Dux, D-U-X. And the other one is M plus R. But really, I don't think that the brand matters a lot. Just 
take those cheap metal hand sharpeners. So I do exactly the same. Look at that. It looks much better. So here I have two pencils that I can use for coloring. There are lots and lots of fancy sharpeners, electrical sharpeners, sharpeners with a little box that uh, takes the stuff that comes from the sharpener, uh, from the pencil. We call that slijpsel in Dutch. That would be sharpened stuff, <laughs> something like that in English, but uh, of course I mean this stuff, you know. That's always a... Uh, You need to get rid of that. So some sharpeners have a little box or a container or something. But this is how I do it. Just an ordinary sharpener. Most important thing, the diameter must be big enough for the pencils that you use and the other thing is the the sharpening blade needs to be sharp so replace it soon enough don't wait too long and then you can just uh, Continue your coloring. So yeah, this is uh, my video about how I sharpen my pencils. It's not more than this. So see you in the next episode. Bye bye.